Hey, hi, hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about how to perform cumulative calculations in ClickSense. Uh, with recent updates, ClickSense allows you to perform cumulative calculation easily uh, within the expression option itself with the option called as modifier. So let me first of all show you the expression what on which we will be working today that is order count. So if you see order count has a simple expression that is count distinct of order case. Right? It gives you the number of orders okay now here when i come into the second expression right here uh, now if you see he, uh, this option right below the expression option you see option for modifier initially it's on none okay this is how you see and now if i click on modifier and i select accumulation right it will give you the cumulative numbers now it is on full so if you see right every single number gets add up right and it will give you the cumulative calculation and now if i want rolling a month kind of uh, view right so uh, by selecting custom and giving the number of steps that is like number of months right i uh, right now it is four so it will give you every four months cumulative number okay and also it allows you to perform a moving average okay uh, six months moving average right now it is showing you this is good if you want to perform simple cumulative calculation to analyze very simple things but uh, when you uh, when you share it with the end users right so like the uh, the possibility is endless uh, they could easily break this uh, expression with uh, by uh, performing different things which i'll show you right now okay so now uh, with this expression uh, so with this expression there are three issues okay now if you see value for march 1993 right it is uh, 19255 also let me quickly first of all change this from moving average to accumulation and full okay now if you see right march value it is 9255 and the cumulative value is 282392 now if i select on march 1993 right now if you see here the cumulative calculation is broken right now to fix this, there is a workaround which I'll show you. You could uh, within the set expression provide the name of the dimension that is month year and you uh, you could uh, restrict the month year filters to be applied on this expression. But the second issue comes with it is now when I click on March 1993 right. So uh, what happens it it gives you the desired results but it l makes the chart look uh, not very aesthetically pleasing right so basically due to which uh, i don't prefer this view but if it works in your case you could use it but then there comes a third issue with this right now if i if i s uh, change the sorting of month here right the dimension right if you see ideally uh, the cumulative value for august 1998 is uh, 1 million 499k but here it is showing 1199 basically 1k so now as you can see this cumulative calculation is broken correct let me change the sorting again sorting back again and also also if you have if you might have noticed right while this expression was broken this expressions were working fine okay now let's see how how it was done how these three expressions were built uh, let me delete this expression now let's first of all check the rolling four month order count calculation now if you come here right what we have done is uh, initially within the uh, within the expression right uh, you can see we are doing a uh, count distinct of order key that gives us the count of the orders okay and then uh, i have within the set expression i am uh, making sure any filters on month year is not getting applied on this expression okay within the inner expression now uh, this expression is then wrapped with above and above has two parameters okay one is zero and one is four uh, if the value of zero uh, would have been minus one, it would have taken a value which is above above it. For an example, one 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 row above it. But as it is zero, it stays on uh, stays on the current row. Okay, and four, 
make sure it takes the value from the above four rows okay basically uh, what it will do is it will take the values for uh, let's let's assume we are on row fourth so it will take values from this 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 and this rows okay then then uh, then there comes the range sum this is above is wrapped with range sum range sum what it will make sure it will uh, uh, perform like the sum on all these four values and it will give you the number and even if you stop at this point right let uh, let, uh, let me comment aggr okay this expression would work okay but why do i use aggr right basically is uh, let's let's let me sort this again now when i sort if you see this chart also gets broken and this is the same issue with the native clicksense sense cumulative option so that's why we we need to use aggr now if i uncomment the aggr right and let's understand what is happening within aggr within aggr what i'm doing is i'm providing the name of the dimension that is month year okay and what does numeric ascending make sure is numeric say perform a numeric sorting okay and ascending make sure the sorting is ascending okay also month year has a dual value that uh, that it has a text value as well as a numeric value using the dual function if you are if you don't know about dual function uh, i'll be soon creating a video on dual function for which i'll add the link in the description below make sure you check that out to understand more on the dual function so basically this is how a uh, rolling four month average expression is built now with aggr right what does aggr make sure is even if you sort the, based upon the month year right the values doesn't change and also it allows you to select on a single value and make sure the value what you see is correct it doesn't breaks your accumulation right and now similarly to perform a full accumulation right full cumulative calculation only change what we do in the expression is we add the row number instead of four instead of manually providing the value four we give the row number as the third parameter okay and the last expression in the last expression what we do is uh, to to perform the moving average right moving average the expression is similar only changes in the third parameter to perform a six months moving average instead of four we do a six you could have done a four if you needed a four month moving average but for this case we took the six months moving average that's why the third parameter is set as six here we change the function to range average so what would range average do is it will take the top four values what it gets and it will perform average on it I hope the explanations on all three expressions were clear. I will paste these expressions in the comment section below if you want to use it. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment them in the comment section below. If you if you learn something new from this video, make sure you hit on the like button. For more interesting videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, have a good time. Cheers. Bye.